Yo, what's going on, everybody, man? By today's title and thumbnail, you already really know what to expect. I don't think I got to do too much talking. Today's episode is going to get pretty lit, man. It's going to be things that will possibly change your mind, change your reality, and just the way that you think in today's society. Make sure if you all enjoy this video that you give it a huge like, man. Remember, the more likes that this video get, the higher that it will rank. Make sure that you all join me on my live stream this Sunday. January 14th, 2024, as we will be going live and doing reactions live. I tell you, I do my reactions real raw and uncut. Everything you see is a live reaction. I don't plan anything. And it also give you all to communicate with me and connect with me on a different level. So if that sounds like something that you all want to do, please make sure that you tune in this Sunday. Put it on your calendar at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, just like we did last Sunday, January 14th. Get this in your head. January 14th, 2024. 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And this is for all my Americans out there. So y'all possibly have to, you know, you're in different parts of the world. I know I got people from all over the world. You possibly got to do the time difference. But if you don't want to do that, the most easiest way to get notified is if you turn on the notifications and click all, then you will get notified when I go live. So I see you all Sunday. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Let's get it. Let's go. YouTubers breaks into Epstein's private island. How? J.E. We did it. We did it. We gotta go. Wow. There's something covered in the center. Picture? Let's go, let's go. Is it a timer or what? This is video. Fade the fuck out. Thanks, just broke in. How is that possible? I thought that mode was... I thought, I thought the island was like heavy militarized ever since that, you know, everything that's going on or they're going to like destroy the island or whatever it is. But the fact that... Man, YouTubers be doing a lot for content. That couldn't have been me. This game ain't over, mama. I'll see you again. <laughs> I did the gas change. So I should do that. Black mama doesn't end. Heroes come and go, but legends are forever. Oh, shit! It's Kobe Bryant! Help me! Just pass me wow. the trophies and we'll pull you out! Pass! Wow. Wow. That's not no coincidence. The Two Illuminati Iowa doesn't Brian, control the world because Brian. nobody's that organized. Uh, but did there you, you ever see there that Bohemian go. Grove thing? That is absolutely 100% so real. No, no, it's not. So what, Brian? It's people dressing up like wizards, burning an effigy yeah. in front of an owl Same god. It's people at the highest the levels government. of banks. It's all these different famous people. There's a bunch of crazy, really rich, influential people that went to that Bohemian Grove and dressed up like druids and they chanted things. Yeah. Have you ever seen it? Yes. Yeah, you are. Yeah, yeah, you haven't seen it. He hasn't seen it. He hasn't no, seen it. Sorry. He hasn't seen it. They're chanting crazy shit and they're putting hoods on and they're burning an effigy that's supposed to be a sacrificial person, but it's straw in a bundle. They talk no, about the owl really god Moloch. Okay, really? these are multi millionaires. Jay Z is actually a time traveler. Did you see about this? Oh, I seen the picture. I you seen, seen the picture. picture. Yeah, Wait, yeah. no, no. But there was, there was also other evidence though. Okay, I, that didn't really have nothing to do. That, that, that um, ended it, but. Not Brian, this it's people part. dressing up like wizards. I gotta look at what, what is what is. I never heard of uh, the Bohemian Grove. What is the Bohemian Grove? Can anybody explain to me what this is? I know I be asking y'all a lot of the times, you know, to let me know y'all opinion down below. I have never heard of that. What it kind of reminded me of was the whole, you know, the Ku Klux people. You get what I'm saying? Like, that's kind of what it was looking like with the tall hats and the fire and the, like, 
that's kind of what it was looking like. But I never heard of the Bohemian Grove. That is something new that I, I might have to do some research on. Can anybody agree with that? Sign up for their program. You get a light skin, weird face wife that never do an interview. Oh, in man, tw- wow. Listen, in 20 years, won't do an interview. Nobody's ever talked to her. And that she's never been interviewed anywhere. And now, understand, I'm not talking about one person. And then he gets this high. He ain't talking about one person. I think everybody he just talked about in that video was in that picture right there. And that was, I guess, they woman. And he was saying that that was part of them selling them. So that was basically part of them selling their soul was that they can get this particular wife. You know what I'm saying? Because everything that went on with the whole uh, ritual that he was talking about, like that them dressing up as women and belittling themselves within films to get this particular type of money. You know what I'm saying? So I think that's what he was making. My top fade, making all black men think he got the best lineup in the business. And it's a man unit. Then you ask him, why you not a movie star? I didn't want to be a movie star. This the same Negro that hated on Bernie with this same thing. I didn't want to be a movie star. No, you couldn't be a movie star. There are 30,000 new scripts in Hollywood every year. Not one of them asks for a country bumpkin black dude that can't talk good or became and look like Mr. Potato Head. There ain't oh none. That, and Hollywood has never heard this in a hundred years. He was so egregious, I put in my contract that I won't work with Ricky Smiley Ricky again Smiley. unless he's in a dress. Now, what Smiley. was Ricky Smiley's next movie? Was it First Sunday? Did he wear a dress in it? You bet he did. It's in my contract. Can't sing, can't dance, and doesn't he write doing jokes. Album. He did four comedy specials. They're so bad, Shannon. They're not available on Netflix or Tubi. Can I say that again for the audience? Can't sing, can't dance, and doesn't he write doing jokes. Album. He did four comedy. If you sign up for their program, I'm gonna you be get- honest. I'm gonna be honest. Cat Williams, he 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 came with 2020, uh, 2024 with some fire. You know what the darkest conspiracy theory about aliens is? I don't know if I'm ready for it. That Earth is essentially a farm and human beings are the vessels that contain souls and they want us because this is how they create souls. And so they're farming us, they've created us. Mm -hmm. So we started off as primates and through some sort of genetic intervention, I'm not saying I believe this, I'm just saying that this is like, top of the food chain, put your tinfoil hat on super tight, that we they farm us and that the whole reason why human beings are involved in this conflict, constant conflict, is, is to, it's all of it is to increase our competition with each other, increase our ability to control resources, which will increase our technology, which will ultimately lead to us creating this being that we're going to create, this artificially intelligent super god. Mm. They feeding off our souls, our energy. That's why they be trying to get us possibly to sell our soul. I have to put my brother Tyler Perry in that. And I'm going to tell you why I say that. See, when I see you do a clip and you go to T.D. Jake's church, T.D. and Jakes. I watch you write a check for a million dollars in front of the congregation, and you give it to this man, was that for the congregation to give more money? Or was that really genuine? That see, genuine. when no one's watching, who are you? So when everyone's watching and we got a chance to see him when no one was watching. See, your listeners will hear that audio when he makes statements like, and I got to bring this up, Daddy, because it's a part of it and you understand the devalue of black women. Recently, I saw a quote that my sister Taraji put out there and said, Tyler Perry was the first person to pay me my quote. And that's a black man. Well, he says, I'm the first person to pay Taraji P. Henson the most money she's ever made. And then we said, but did you pay her fairly? And then he said, I paid her more than she's ever made. Wow. What does that mean, brother? Wow. When you go and buy Tiffany Haddish a car, see if we remember the movie Cadillac Records, I'll keep buying you a car, but I won't give you what you're worth. So, because if I give you what you're worth, you can buy your own car. Yep. I, I don't need you to buy no car. I don't need you to pay for me to go on no vacation. Just give me what my resume says I'm supposed to get. So when you ask me how does it feel to not hear him come out, I have to put my brother Tyler Perry that stuff, in that. That stuff is sad, man. That stuff is sad.
in Atlanta right now, you have something called Spelman College. That's John D. Rockefeller's wife. Her last what name is Spelman. What? Her last name is Spelman. That's the man's wife? That's his wife. The Look, name is Spelman down south? Man, well, well, Google it right now. Google who spelled. Oh, who, Spelman. Go look this up real quick. Oh, that's this true. Is Laura Spelman Rockefeller. Ooh! Let's not talk about Morehouse. Look, you think it goes back to somebody that's black? They don't. What? Just like you can trace back all the presidents to come from one entity, come from one bloodline, you can do the same thing with every medical college. Now, within the last 20 years, it's a bunch of... Well, allegedly, allegedly, chat, allegedly, you know what I'm saying? I'm not sure how true this is. New medical colleges that came up outside of that, which still follow the curriculum, but don't have their name. But when you start studying these names, man, they go back to John D. Rockefeller family, man. That's why if you go and, and you teach against them, you can get locked up and persecuted because he sits at the head of the federal directors in the federal Supreme Court. John D. Rockefeller, man, he controlled the damn world, man. Him in the corner, geez. In the man, 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 man. I had no idea. And I wonder if this is like with all HBCUs. So who remember that time that the boondocks really exposed the truth behind Christmas? Look, Granddad, Listen. it's clear from the scripture that Jesus was not born in winter. The shepherds who saw the angels announcing his birth would not have been out in their fields in December. The Palestinian winters are too cold. If you right. believe in that sort of thing. The truth is, Christmas evolved from the Roman holiday Saturnalia, a winter festival where men gave gifts to each other. They also would get drunk, have sex with each other, and beat their wives. People would act so crazy on Christmas, the holiday was outlawed by the Protestant church until the 1800s. As a matter of fact, the United States Congress... And this is how they take the truth. Granddad? Granddad! I'm sorry, boy. What was that? And this is another scripture to back up what he said. In the sixth month, the sixth month, then Gabriel was sent from God to a city of Galilee named Nazareth. Or to betroth to a man named Joseph of the house of David. And the virgin name was Mary. And he came to her and said, Oh Lord, favorite one, the Lord is with you in your stomach like a baby. And we know the sixth month is June, right? It take nine months to make a baby. Nine months from June is like March, April. So what is we celebrating on Christmas? Y'all let me know what y'all think about the boom. Y'all celebrating possibly the Roman holiday. That's that's what it seemed like it was said in the video. The rich are about to get a taste of their own medicine. Get ready for the revolution. It's coming. It's time to eat the rich. And I don't know if you heard, but billionaires are splurging on bunkers. People like Beyonce and Jay-Z. Tech billionaires like Mark Zuckerberg. And they're buying up bunkers to hide because soon society is about to collapse. Mm -hmm. And they created all of this mess going on with the economy. And it's so ridiculous. They think they can buy their way out of everything, even consequences. Take, for example, Mark. He's dropped a whopping $270 million on a secret Hawaiian hideout. What? Complete with a massive underground bunker. And he's not the only one. There are about 700 billionaires in the USA. And the US population is about 330 million people. So good luck hiding from the angry mass of people that's about to explode. Who knows, maybe you can escape this life, but you will not be able to escape the next. The uh, rich. She ain't lying. She ain't lying because the most high God, he he's ain't nothing you can do to try to save from that from that judgment day. It ain't nothing you can do. When that time come, it's nothing that you can do. Y'all can make the bunkers of the bunkers if you want to. But that man above, if 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 then when a new life come, you will be gone. It is nothing that you can do about it. Is Obama trying to warn us of something? People have been saying that there's a lot of hidden messages in the new movie that was just released on Netflix called Leave the World Behind. Not only was this movie produced by the Obamas, but people have been concerned since they've been able to spot multiple demonic signs throughout the scenes, as well as it being about America's enemies coming together in order to cause isolation, war, and chaos. Just this past week, tons of videos have gone viral of herds of deers coming out of nowhere. <laughs> oh my God. Where did they come from? 
That's insane. And over 2 million Teslas have now been called back in in order to fix a defective system, which sounds very familiar. But you guys let me know what you think. Is Obama trying to warn us of something? People have been saying that there's a lot of Hey, I watched this. Has anybody seen this movie? I watched it. And the first time I watched it, because I seen a lot of y'all were talking about it and tell me to watch it. I was very confused about the ending. I feel like they could have did better with the ending. Why would a scientist do this? Remember this video that I made about the zombie virus that they brought back to life that had been sleeping for almost 50,000 years? Well, wow. it doesn't stop there. Because this scientist actually successfully brought back a 3.5 million year old bacteria. And didn't stop there, he injected himself with it. Trust what? me, you're gonna wanna favorite this video because this could change humanity as we know it. Now this wasn't yesterday, or the day before, it was 12 years ago, and you will not believe how he is doing today. Now, this Russian scientist named Anatoly Brouchkov woke up one morning and chose chaos, believing whatever kept this virus alive for 3.5 million years could have the same effect on us. He discovered anything that this bacteria came into contact with had a longer life. So he decided to be the guinea pig, and these are his results so far. Since the injection, he says he has never felt unwell, is able to work more, has higher energy, levels let me know in the comments would you do what this wow. man did Yo, Elon! wow so he brought back a million year old 3.5 million year old bacteria i don't know like the the way you look at this is not something that's possibly bad it's not something that's possibly bad if y'all ask me because there's a lot of medicines that we take that a lot of y'all don't know like um, that has a lot of, of it's, it's high in bacteria, but it, it, it helps within our immune system, if that makes sense. Let me say that it's a lot of fruits, like it's a lot of fruits that we eat naturally. It's a lot of bacteria that is not bad for our body. You know, our, our, our body can somewhat either, it can aid towards something that's, that's within our body or it can, you know, it can be bad. It just depends on what it is that we eat. And of course, you know, not none of these things that are, um, um, uh, abomin abominable fruits, you know, that are abominable meats that, you know, speak of in the Bible that we're not supposed to be eating, of course, then they will have bad effects, you know what I mean? But you think about it like when we eat meat and things like that, a lot of people eat like steaks or chicken, like there is so much bacteria in all of those things, you know what I'm saying? But, and, and especially fish, you know, salmon, it's a lot of bacteria that are within the actual like food, uh, foods and fruits, but we still eat it. It's not really too much bad, if that makes sense to get rid of the unions. SAG has done nothing. Check this out. I made $12,000 for doing Hustle and Flow. And then on top of it, <laughs> what Paramount did, <laughs> instead of putting my name as Terrence Howard performing the, the songs, right. they put performed by DJ. Well, they own DJ. So guess what? The performance royalties went to Paramount. Wow. They, <laughs> wait, so they, they didn't go to Terrence Howard. Terrence Howard. They went $12, to... All, that's all I ever made from Hustle and Flow. Everything else went right back into Paramount. So now I got to sue Paramount or send them a letter. Are you serious? I got to send them a letter to say, hey, you guys owe me about 20 years worth of residuals and, and performance royalties. But I didn't know. I was just, right, trying, right, I was just right. trying to pay my rent then. I made $6,000 doing, doing Crash. Crash didn't. I they remember the movie Crash. Though. Yes, that's right. That's right. The business don't pay actors anything. That's why we're. That's why the strike is going on. Actors are struggling. As you and wow. I were kind of joking earlier, it's hard out here for a pimp. Yeah, it is hard unless you do it right. I want to get rid of the unions. Wow, that is sad. Are we ready for this one? Are we ready for this one? We already know that the Egyptians really liked dreams. They like dreams. But what did it mean for them? Well, their way of saying dream actually meant to come awake. And their symbol for dreaming had an open eye. Okay, here's the part where my jaw dropped. Now, what do we think about the fact? The Egyptians developed an advanced practice of conscious dream travel. Trained dreamers operated in their society as seers, remote viewers, telepaths, advising on affairs of state and military strategy. They used dreams for their military strategy. I mean, we know how powerful ancient Egypt was. We know how much they accomplished. And the fact that they used dreams like this really makes you think. Are we ready for this definitely, one? Definitely, definitely make you think. You ain't lying about that one. Don't know the real reason as to why... 
people don't know the real reason as to why China wants to take over Taiwan. China has been sending fighter jets into restricted airspace, signaling a potential invasion into Taiwan. But since China is already such a large and powerful country, what could possibly be on this small island that makes it so desirable? Well, first, if China were able to take over Taiwan, they could extend further into the Pacific and break up the United States' island chain strategy. Following World War II, the United States wanted to restrict the Soviet Union and China from having direct access to the Pacific Ocean, so the U.S. established military bases along both of these island chains, deterring China and the Soviets from expanding into the Pacific. Anytime China used to send military jets close to Taiwan, the U.S. would send naval ships to patrol in the South China Sea, where the Chinese jets would then back off. But in recent years, these U.S. naval ships in the South China Sea haven't been scaring off the Chinese military. The main reason the United States most people don't know the real reason as has been so adamant about protecting Taiwan and ensuring that they stay a democratic self-governing territory is because the United States relies almost fully on Taiwan for their semiconductor technology. Semiconductors are basically the extremely small chips that are needed for technology from the phone you're watching this video on to planes that fly across the Pacific Ocean. Just one company, the Taiwan Semiconductor Manufacturing Company, absolutely dominates this entire industry where its engineers have created secret methods to code these chips that nobody else in the world has ever been able to match. The United States has been spending billions each year on trying to establish their own semiconductor factories, but still relies heavily on Taiwan for these chips. If China were to take over Taiwan, they know they could cut off the United States from this important technology, ultimately sending the United States into a complete disaster. As for now, Chinese military planes continue to fly closer and closer to Taiwan has been so adamant have infiltrated critical services here in the U.S. Watch out. China's wow. cyber army is on the attack. China's cyber army is invading critical U.S. services, cause societal chaos inside the United States to affect our decision making around a crisis. Attack ports, attack water supply, attack energy supplies. So in short, China's preparing for war with the United States. China affiliated hackers hit critical U.S. infrastructure, computer systems for water, power, communications and transportation bodies. They have been affected this just coming out today. Now, this comes as yesterday. I share with you the breaking news live as soon as it came out. China's cyber army is invading critical U.S. services. A utility in Hawaii, a West Coast port, and a pipeline are among the victims in the past year. But this all intensifying and coming out just yesterday that this is going to be increasing because take a look at this coming out today. The big one, preparing for a long war with China. January and February 2024, they're saying that 2024 looks like it is going to be the year of war have infiltrated oh crap teletubbies you know the truth behind teletubbies the real story of teletubbies is taken from a mental hospital in bulgaria for a group of children lala has a distorted face that makes her smile all the time she always sat in her room alone in the hospital so her skin turned yellow because she wasn't exposed to the sun tinky winky was seven years old and he hit himself on the wall until his head cracked so they tied him up with a rope so he wouldn't move because of the rope and restrictions on his limbs, his limbs turned blue. Boo was with them in the hospital. And when the fire happened, they forgot all about her. I think you know why she is red. And for Tinky, he was always hungry and sad because he was depressed. When they gave him food, he would just throw it away. Nipsey represented a deaf child who was allegedly tied to a fence outside and suffered frostbite. The characters of the Teletubbies are based off of real children who endured horrific experiences. Why would they base a children's show off of real-world horrific stories from a mental hospital? You know so the I'm going to be honest. I'm going to be honest, right? Uh, I feel like that this is fake because he definitely messed up and said the red one was Boo. But I could have sworn that the red Teletubby was named Poo. Yeah, this was something pretty crazy, man. <laughs> this was something pretty crazy. He's watching these videos always somewhat and enlighten me in a way. And it, and it just helps me learn new things. And I hope you all was able to learn something new or at least teach me something new for today. We made it to the end of the video. And if you all enjoyed, don't forget to hit that like button on the way out. And I see you all tomorrow.